All right. Whew. It is chilly. I got my LSU um, hoodie on. I love wearing this. Actually, you know, if it's a little bit warmer, I'll wear this anyway because it helps me perspire more. And I think when you perspire a little bit more, you're burning a few more calories. So I just like having this on. It's comfortable. It's a little, you know, it's a little bit small on me, but it works. It's workable, doable. Some of that high quality cotton. It's got a nice stitch on it. Anyway. We're going in to work them the parts. We're going in. All right. Not a great workout. Not a great workout. Yeah, not a great workout. That was not a great one until, until the right song came on. I was, I was seriously ready to walk out of there and um, I didn't, I stayed in. The right song came on, put in another hour, which was mostly weightlifting. Yeah, I don't know, I was missing something. Missing something today. I don't know what it was, but, well, I know, I know what it was. I, well, as soon as, well, I mean, as soon as I got on the treadmill, I was like, fuck. I forgot to wear my body armor, uh, my briefs, my body armor briefs. They're named body armor for a reason, because they climb up your ass and they prevent you from getting uh, rashes. So they're pretty important if you, if you know you're going to run. I went in today thinking, oh, I might break my long distance record. That ain't going to happen without those. I had boxers on, cotton boxers. You run in those for about eight minutes, you're going to have a rash for about four days, five days. But I, eh, I ran for five minutes. But that's not what I was talking about when I was missing something. I was just like missing some kind of energy or I took all my supplements, had the creatine in me. A car bloated at 8 o'clock last night before the movie. Oh no, I just didn't have it, man. I didn't have it. And I still put in two hours somehow. I still put in two hours. I got a very special playlist I'll play when uh, I need a little bit extra. When I first get into the gym, I'll put on the normal playlist, which has got 15,000 songs. I know it's ridiculous, but I'll play that hit random. If that sucks for a little while, or if I need like a, a boost, I'll go to my cheat playlist where it's got all the bangers on it. It'll really, it'll really hit me good. So I had to go to that. Dark Knight soundtrack came on. Revenant soundtrack came on. Started hitting it pretty good. I worked my forearms good. Killed my triceps anyway. It was, uh, was a bad workout. Uh, we turn nothing into something. Oof. And today's shout out, I wanna give a, a shout out to just soundtracks in general. Uh, typically, uh, those are what give me the biggest boost when I'm reaching deep down inside my guts for a little boost. Any soundtrack, really, you know. Um, just, you know, half of my badass playlist is all fucking movie stuff. All of it. Almost. You know, there's some metal in there. Some, uh, some hard hitters. Maybe a little rap. But the stuff that really hits the hardest, that's the, uh, the soundtrack stuff. So shout out to all those composers that do that shit. I appreciate you.
This has become one of my favorite parts of the post-workout experience, which is the morning bike ride. Uh, the difference this morning is that it's 40 degrees outside and there's a little bit of a wind chill kicking up. So it's kind of crisp out here. It's a little crisp. I said I'd do six laps through the neighborhood. That's looking more like four because my knuckles are stingy. They are stingy. Anyway, it's very, very pleasant out here. It's, I'll say it's much better than it was last week when it was 85. I'll take 40 over 85 any day. But anyway, uh, did two new exercises in the gym today. One was uh, trap lifts with the Smith machine. Now the Smith machine was created for people to use the barbell uh, in a safe way. So it's got safety locks every 10 inches. So anytime you, you max out in a very peculiar situation, you can just lock it and bail out of there without having to drop a barbell. So I use that for trap lifts. I also did a free weight trap lift. So I really did eight trap sets, which is the most trap sets I've ever done. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not gonna be able to lift a carton of milk tomorrow. Um, the other new exercise I did was um, cable forearms where I had a bar hooked to the top cable and I brought my forearms down to a 90 degree angle like this. And then I kind of, I did this kind of thing right here where I was like, you see that? Yeah, you can't see that. Anyway, <laughs> it's probably not smart to film in the dead of night with both arms off the bike. Let's be smart. But yeah, two new exercises, plus we're going to do a little bike tonight, or this morning. Happy November! Oh yeah! Bike sprints in the freezing cold does suck a lot, it really does. But then you think about, you're doing some adaptation. So it's probably going to suck a little bit less tomorrow. You know, the body is an adaptation machine. So anything you put yourself through, if it's a little painful, it'll be a little bit less painful tomorrow. can't really turn a camera off with gloves on, can you? You know another word that might be in my top 20 words? And uh, it's a proper noun, Zimbabwe. I say that a lot. I'll just be walking down the street. Zimbabwe.
Thank mm-hmm. you.